Alrighty guys, so in the last couple of videos, we learned how to create customers and send them estimates. In this video, we are ready to create and send an invoice. We have completed our service or we have sold products and now we need to collect. We need to get paid, right? Because at the end of the day, hey, we're all just trying to get paid. And shout out to everybody who made it this far. Okay, so big shout out to you guys. Let's get into it. First things first, let's go over to sales. Click on customers right up here in the top left. Buckshot Roberts. Freddy Krueger, let's go ahead and send him an invoice. We have to let him know that he owes us some coin. So first things first, make sure you have his email if you planned on billing them via email. Uh, it's the I highly recommend getting paid via check or cash to avoid merchant service fees, but sometimes companies, uh, people and companies want to pay their expenses with business accounts. Uh, do not worry about accepting credit cards yet. We're going to talk about that in two videos. Let's just focus how to bill our clients and look professional. So send it to one of your emails. This is one of my thousand billion emails and we'll just see how it looks on their end. We're going to send it to Freddy Krueger. Uh, net 30. No, I do not want to get paid uh, in a month from now. I want to get paid in net 15 or due on receipt. Maybe it's a Friday. Maybe you guys had a verbal agreement and you want your money before the weekend. Uh, click on do you uh, do on receipt for that, but I'll just give them a net 15. And the product and service thing, it shows up way too bland. It's way too generalized. We've got hours, sales, this and that. Um, say you run a small business that deals with car detailing. You might want to offer different pricing packages. Maybe you have an option for $30, $60, $90. This could be uh, probably relate to a lot of your businesses, whether it's you know a mobile dog cleaning service or you uh, cut trees or you're a, a gardener or whatever it may be. You might want to put your products in here so it looks a little bit more professional because your clients are going to see this. So if you just have I don't know, um, hours, five, general labor. They're going to see that. That doesn't look too professional. What we're going to do is we're going to create a package really fast. And if there's a lot of things you have to build them for, add lines, do it. But the, for the sake of the tutorial, we are just going to add one. Click on add new right there. And on your right hand side, this is going to help us categorize our services or products that we offer. Now you probably already have these written down. You probably have package deals or promo deals. Uh, but again, we what do we do? We have a car detailing business for this tutorial. Inventory, no. Products you buy and keep track of, no, we're not selling anything non-inventory. This is stuff that you do sell, but you don't really need to keep track of it. Nuts and bolts is the example. Bundle, let's just click on service right here. And we'll call this our bronze package. We have a bronze, silver, and gold. And for $30 with this package, you just get, let's call it a car wash and a wax job. You know, the $60 silver package, we can add that in. Uh, we'll do interior cleaning. We will wipe down your leather interior. We will vacuum your car. We will throw an air freshener in there. And for the gold package, I have no idea. We'll turn it into a flux capacitor and it can fly around. Bronze package. And this is again what the clients will see. I don't have a SKU number for this unless you have a lot of products and you wanna keep track of inventory, I recommend that. Category, uh, general labor. I don't think this shows up on the invoice. We'll just call this, uh, I don't know. I'm not even gonna put anything there. Uh, one, just put bronze package again. Bronze package, save, that's fine. Uh, sales information. I sell this product just service. Okay, so this is what they're gonna see. This is a car wash, full full car wash, and what do we call it? With waxing, with two layers, wax coating. Uh, sales price. We called this thirty dollars. Just like that, purchasing, I purchased this product from a vendor. No, I do not, I, I uh, this is all me, this is all myself. Uh, income account, income account, this is definitely sales. This would not go under uncategorized income or any of the sort. Save it and close it. Now let's go ahead and it shows up like that. And if you wanna go ahead and for future reference, you wanna click on that. We already have our bronze package right there. We do not have to do it all over again. And it looks much better than just having one this and that, build them for this. So 
they could totally see what they're paying for in case there's ever a refund or a dispute. They said that they didn't do this or you offered this and then didn't do that and you can go back and do it again or however you handle your business. And for the sake of this, let's look at our print preview. Uh, print packaging slip, definitely not. And let's look at it, very generic. But look, there it showed up. It has a brawn package. Uh, maybe we'll get rid of the category. The category showed up right there. Here was the description, full car wash with two layers wax coating. That looks good. That looks a lot better than something that just says one uh, for $30. And it could be anything. What did they pay for? How do they file it on their taxes on their end? What kind of an expense is it? They have no idea. Um, so that's generally it, how you send an invoice. In the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about, we have to clean this up. This looks disgusting. We're going to talk about creating a custom invoice with our logo when we're going to have the interface look way cleaner than this. But this would work. This would definitely work. Now we can go ahead and save it and send it. And it's going to show up on, okay, subject, invoice 102, Larry's Hot Dogs, online payments. Let's worry about that in a video after the the invoice customization one. Let's send it, let's close it. Now let's pull up our email. Let's see if they were notified. So now they know they have to pay us and they can play less stupid. Larry's Hot Dogs, there it is. Now they do, they do not need QuickBooks Online to view their invoice. You can just click on this and it's going to show more of a breakdown. This is the gist. Now in the next couple of videos, like I talked about, we are going to uh, set it up so we can accept debit or uh, visa mastercard uh, plastic to accept payment but that is it guys congratulations you guys officially learned how to create and send an invoice in quickbooks online and the next video let's make this thing beautiful all right guys i'll see you over there